Hello, today I will be doing a review of this uh, freezer refrigerator from Weaver and uh, I will show you the basics of how to use it and I will also use a, show you how to use it with the app and I will do some testing, how much power does it consume, how long will it take to take it down to zero degrees Celsius and how much heat will it lose if it loses power, how long will it stay cold uh, without power uh, but to begin with I'm gonna show you the basics so this one is really portable it's called the CX30 and 30 stands uh, of 30 liters because that's how much room you can get in here I will show you how much room it is later uh, what makes it really portable is to begin with the handles it makes it e really easy to carry around you also have another handle which you can extend and you have two legs on the back so you can roll it around on a table if you want to which is really good if you're having a really really big table or if you're actually moving it outside maybe from your car to a campsite then it's uh, really easy to transport uh, on the side here you can find the input and uh, included except for the manual let's lose it you have DC input this is for 12 and 24 volts and you just plug it in and plug it in your car and it works perfectly I've tried it uh, but you also get this uh, AC adapter so you can plug it into your wall outlet and plug the other one into the DC input and it also, also works great uh, so straight out of the box it's really easy to use it's gone I've been using this for a week now uh, when I went on a camping trip with a car and it works really good I'm using it both with my car connected to my car and connected to battery through uh, the AC adapter and both work really well up here you control all the settings I will show you this later but it's really easy it's an on off button it's, uh, it's the setup button it's plus it's minus and then you got a USB output so you can charge your phone and that's basically it uh, come on, let's take a closer look before we do some testing. So, in here there's actually a lot of storage space. Uh, it's a rather funky storage space under here. Where you can store, well, six pack of whatever. This is non-alcoholic beer. You can store six pack or you can store at least two. Uh, beers on top of each other yeah you can see it can contain a lot of stuff I'm not gonna fill it up but I had milk I had uh, some meat in here I had everything we were eating for at least four days and uh, well as well as a lot this is a 50 cent liters bottle from Biltima and you also have this, which is really good. This is a water outlet. So you got a hole in the back. Because if you're using this during the summer, it will build up condensation and it will get wet in here. You can see it already. I'm not sure if you can, but probably you can. And that's a perfect way to actually get all the water out when you still have your things in here. If you have a lot of beers, you open up, you close it, it will condensate, it will come a lot of water in here, and then you can just open this and it will go out. So that's really good. And uh, well, if you want to know exactly how much I how much I can fill in this, I'll show you a picture now. And that's how many things you can fit in here. So great, uh, now let's move on to testing. And uh, I'm gonna start with showing you how to use this panel here. 
as well as how the app works and the app is really really good uh, and I'll show you in a couple of minutes so stay tuned so let's see how the setup process so I connected this to AC you see it lights up it means there is power and I press on and at first it shows you the temperature right now then it's inside uh, the fridge and by using these you can see that I've been using it around zero uh, Celsius and you can easily just let's set this to 17 and hopefully yeah it turned off so uh, we don't need to hear the noise so that's the settings you have you have plus sorry minus plus and you also have the setting if you press it one you can see here so which between max and echo max and echo and that is how aggressive it will be with keeping this cool it means if you put it in max it will cool a lot faster but it will also draw more um, more energy and uh, i think it's around when you do it on the max it's around 50 55 uh, watts an hour and when you go in echo is around 39 so not that big of a difference and once it's cool it will draw the same amount of power approximately but you can also hold this in and you can see here you have L for low M for medium and H for high and this is how much power it will draw from the battery if you have for say a 12 volt battery and you set it on low settings then it will cut out at 8.5 volts if you have it on medium setting it will cut out and stop draining the battery at 10.1 volts and high 11.1 volts and uh, on 24 volt battery is the same lower it will have a lower cutoff it will cut off a lower voltage and high a higher voltage and as you can see on the display this is how much and when it's recharged it will begin drawing battery again it will feel the battery current or the voltage so that's a really good thing you can put it when i'm out hiking i don't want to drain my batteries too low so i'm usually have it high and I'd rather use a big battery and uh, don't risk uh, over discharging it but you can also do these settings in the app so let's switch over to the app so to begin this you st push start scanning fridge and uh, if you have voodoo activated you will find your fridge you press it and the first time you have to also press the settings button on the refrigerator otherwise it won't connect so now you can easily just press this button you can lower the temperature or you can make it higher as I did so this will turn off you can also switch between echo mode and max mode and simply by pressing echo you will turn on echo pressing echo again will disable echo and put it into max mode you can also switch between celsius and fahrenheit and you can also have the low medium or high battery settings you can also turn this off by pressing the off button and you can also by bluetooth turn it off again you also have a battery indicator which is here shown 100% at 14.5 volts but that's not entirely true because I'm using AC adapter so it will always show this as full and you also have this battery monitor on the display so you can see right on the display as well on the refrigerator how much you have left in your battery you can also use the lock button. If you press lock in the app, it won't be able to you won't be able to make any settings on the Weaver refrigerator without turning off the, the lock. 
and that's really good if you have kids and they, they will be pushing every button they can so this will make it safe that the food won't go bad because the kids want to put it up to 20 degrees so that's the app it's a really nice app it's it, it works really great when i push a button it immediately have, have the desired effect on the refrigerator so i really like it and it's uh, the same app i've used from another wheel freezer and i haven't had any problem with the app for the year i've been using it one of the best things about the app is that i can actually i have this in my adventure trailer and it's behind the car and i can sit in the car and drive and i can constantly be in contact with the freezer and make sure that on a long drive nothing is disconnected it's not turned off you i can see and everything that happened in the temperature that is good so that's perfect now for the fun part let's do some testing in the wall i got a wi-fi power outlet it's gonna let me see how much uh, what power consumption this has so we're gonna whoops we're gonna start it up you're gonna see it it's it's at 19 degrees right now and i've set it to zero degrees and it just started up so we're gonna see first of all how long time would it take for it to go from 19 degrees to zero degrees and how much power will be draining during that time and what is the peak drain uh, power consumption but I'm also gonna let it run through the night and see how much power does it use to stay on zero degrees for about eight hours I will also check these fans and see how many decibel it will produce when it's on. So a couple of tests and uh, well, let's start with... I don't know if you can hear this, but it's, it's on. And right now I'm using my iPhone to check the decibel. You shouldn't really worry about how many decibel it is. It's not a precise measurement from the iPhone. But you can see when I'm talking with my normal voice, it's around conversation. And when I'm stopped talking, it drops down low. We can actually move this so facing in the direction of the sound. So that's really low, that's somewhere between a library and a conversation. So you shouldn't be bothered by the sound, at least not if you're out camping. Uh, maybe if you're sleeping in the library, this will make some noise. Otherwise, don't bother, it will not ruin your night's sleep, that's for sure. So, good job, Beaver. And there you go, it just stopped, and actually it stopped about a minute ago, but I have to get the camera, and it stopped, I stopped the clock at 20 minutes, 39 seconds. And that's how long it took for it to get down to zero, and then it just stopped, but for some reason, the temperature kept dropping to minus 4 Celsius. That's probably because it's empty right now. If I were to store drinks or anything else in here, that would actually... Uh, evening out. Uh, if that wasn't uh, zero degrees, then that would absorb some of the, or actually would release some of its heat. So this would be hotter, that's why it's actually making it colder than zero degrees, because otherwise if it gets down to zero degrees it would have to kick in in just a matter of minutes and start up the compressor again, which it hasn't. Uh, so yeah, I don't want So, it has now been 8 hours of the refrigerator keeping a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. And as you can see in the far right, it has consumed 0 0.08 kilowatts. And as you all know, 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts, so we can now take 1000 times 0 0.08 and get 80 watts. So in 8 hours, is eight, so in eight hours it has consumed 80 watts, which made the hourly consumption at 10 watts an hour, and that would make 240 watts or 0 0.24 kilowatts a day. And once again, we were good job because that's a really low power consumption for a refrigerator.
All right, now this has been on for about a day. It's at zero degrees and I'm going to turn the power off just to see how long it will store the cold. Uh, and we will come back in an hour, we will come back in two hours and we will see what the temperature is. This is to simulate what will happen if there's a power outage or if your battery runs out of power. You should know that now this is empty. If it were to be full, it would keep cool a lot longer. But we're going to try this out. So. As you can see, zero degrees, and I'm going to turn it off and come back in an hour. All right, unfortunately I was eating, so I missed the one hour mark, but it's been one hour and 20 minutes, so let's see the temperature. Well, six degrees. Uh, so it's gone up with six degrees in one hour and 20 minutes. And as you can see, it's empty except for a thermometer. Uh, well, let's turn it off and come back in a little while. And there we go. Two hours has passed and the temperature is nine degrees. So nine degrees higher than when we started two hours ago. And I would say that that's uh, pretty good uh, considering there's nothing in the freezer to keep it cold. So yeah, good job. All right, that's it. Uh, you have been given some information and we've done some testing and uh, well, do I like this refrigerator car freezer? Yes, I do. Uh, I think it's really cheap. That's a good thing. It costs about half or less than many other brands out there. And I haven't been using this for all too long. I've been only using it for a week, but I've been using another Weaver freezer refrigerator for about a year and I really like it. It works very well. If you want to buy this, uh, there's a link below and there's also a discount code so you can get it even cheaper. At least now in our recording that discount code should be working. And what I like more about it is how quickly it gets cold. Uh, in a matter of 20 minutes you can go from 20 degrees Celsius down to well around freezing point and that's really quick for freeze like this and I also like the fact that it can contain the cold for at least a couple of hours even when it's disconnected when it doesn't have any electricity and keep in mind that when they did that test it was empty if you're gonna fill it up it will keep the cold even better and I also like how easy it is to use both with the control panel up here and with application it's really easy you just can't go wrong and I love the fact that it's got a uh, well, battery protection system and you can choose yourself if you want to further decrease the power in the battery or if you want to keep it well more charged it's up to you and did I mention that the price is really good and you got a discount code below yeah I did so is there anything I don't like about it well the one thing could be the handle uh, I think it's a little bit flimsy but it does the job. It works. Uh, I've been using it outside. I'm using it on gravel roads and it works. It doesn't break. So that's a minor detail. And would I recommend this? Yes, I definitely would. If you want a refrigerator car freezer that you can take with you and that is easy, to, easy portable, then this is the way to go. I can see no reason to buy a fancy brand uh, for twice as much when you get the same thing with this one. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. If you have any questions, just uh, write it in the comment section below and I will try to give the answer as soon as possible. And if you want me to do some other tests, write that as well and I can post it on YouTube or just give you the information uh, after the test. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help YouTube's algorithm to, uh, well, help other people to see this video as well. And if you want to see more reviews, subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, you don't want to like, well, that's up to you. But I hope you have a pleasant day anyhow. So take care and bye.